welcome to my channel. To make a skirt you will need a rectangular piece of fabric. My advice is to take about two meters or more and then fold it in half and practically that's what you're gonna sew. You're just gonna sew on one side. You don't need to have two seams. Um, once you have your piece, decide how long you want it to be. Do you want it to be um, to the ground or you want it to be um, a little bit shorter? It's all up to you. You will also need a strip of fabric that's going to be your waistband. So first what I do is I hem the bottom edge. I don't like frayed edges and I'm using here the rolled up hem foot and um, this foot came with the sewing machine which makes it so much easier. Right here I'm gathering the top. I'm going to gather it just a little bit to give it a little bit more volume but I'm not going to gather it as much as my waist circumference is because I want to add the elastic band on top. So, so try to make it loose enough to go over your um, hips, but it doesn't have to be, it can be even larger than that. I mean, it's two meters and over. So here I am making the waistband and because this fabric is a little bit flimsy, I am going to add the interfacing. Interfacing is actually very thin fabric that has glue on one side. So you can just cut it based on your needs. Sometimes you can just put the whole fabric right here. I'm using steam to just glue it at least a little bit and then I'm folding it so that the, the iron can fuse it but do this without the steam so i use the steam just to glue it initially here i am putting the waistband together but the first i'm doing it on the other side the inside of the skirt because then when i do the outside part it's going to look nice and neat make sure to actually you know use the bobbins to use well not really bobbins these little pins to make everything stay in place and just keep on sewing it is as easy as that um pay attention to have all those gathers and the other part of the fabric align and you're going to be done very quickly and once you're done you're going to align your sides the skirt and you're going to sew them together um, I like to do the French seam so you, right now what you see I'm putting together the top of the skirt the one that's going to be visible and then I'm going to sew that through after that I'm going to cut out the extra fabric that's on the side as close to the seam as possible and I'm going to turn it inside out and sew again in this way I'm avoiding uh, any frayed edges and I'm as well avoiding using a zigzag stitch as an instead of overlocker because I do not own an overlocker. <laughs> I'm a complete beginner. So um, this is the best possible way to do the seam and it's actually very sturdy and this one is the best if you're making pants or shorts. So here I'm cutting the excess of fabric. I'm trying to keep it close to the seam. And once I do that, I'm going to, to flip it inside out and sew along that line again. If it's easier for you, you can um, press this, use your iron to press it to make it straight and because it is a lot easier, but I'm lazy and it worked, it was fine. After you're done stitching, you're going to attach the waistband on the other side, which is going to be the side visible to everyone else. So you want to pay special attention to make this as clean as possible. Use as many pins as you need and you just proceed with sewing it. This is a top stitch, which is going to make everything look more professional and cleaner. After that, just add the elastics and sew it and you're done. Of course, close the gap in between where you put your elastic in and that's pretty much it.
So to make a top, you will need another rectangle because this is going to be like a tube top, just that it's going to have the straps. And my advice is to take your uh, measurements of your bust and add 20 to 30 centimeters. Make sure that before you start you know, sharing and adding those gathers, you do the seams on both sides. This is very essential because afterwards it's practically going to be, it's not going to be impossible, but it's going to be super difficult. You see how nice it looks when everything is done neatly with the rolling hem. So now we need to thread the elastic thread into a bobbin because bobbin is the one that goes under. I am using my sewing machine to thread the bobbin, but I'm not pulling on the elastic because I don't want it to lose elasticity. This is very important. So I'm not adding the elastic thread and I'm not putting the thread in the same way as when I'm using the regular one. I'm holding the thread in my other hand and I am guiding it where to go. It's a lot easier for me. It takes about 10 seconds to do it instead of a few minutes if you do it by hand. So you need to add settings. Uh, you need to set your machine to the longest stitch and then you need to adjust the tension of the top thread. So you see my elastic thread is still elastic even though it's on the bobbin and even though I used the machine. Then you're going to add the, the, the bobbin the same way you would add the other, the regular thread. Just at this time, after you have pulled it, you have to do everything exactly the same. Make sure that it goes straight into that little space, but do not close it. What you're going to do, you're going to hold the, the other thread, the regular thread that's going to be on top, and you're going to pull the wheel on the side, pull it towards you until it picks up the elastic thread. Pull it out a little bit so that it does not get back and you are ready to start stitching. Uh, in this way, you're avoiding a uh, broken needle. You're avoiding um, the bobbin part just falling out. It's a lot easier, trust me. Um, you do not need to make any guidelines to do this. You just need to use your presser foot as the guide. So first I'm using th that hem that I made as a guide that's like my uh, outer line and I just keep on sewing when I reach the end of the first line second line or any line I put the needle in make like three stitches put the needle in again and roll to the sides just twist the fabric then I put the presser foot down and I continue following the line of the previous row and this is what you're going to do for all of the rows that you have you can have as many rows as you want to um you can have you don't need to have too many but it's totally up to you um if the thread an elastic thread will run you out trust me you will need to find another bobbin so just find where you stopped after you've done everything to uh, wind the bobbin and thread it and everything and just continue sewing can you continue stitching do a back stitch because you want to secure it and just continue sewing one important thing is to always keep your fabric flat don't allow your sewing machine to pick up any of those gathers because then it's not going to be elastic so this is what it looks like when it's done but now we are going to add some stability to it with adding the, um, the straps um, I'm not a big fan of tube tops if they don't have straps I like to have some form of security because I don't want my um, my top to roll up and go down and to expose myself in public so you're going to need four straps uh, of fabric four strips and um, depending on how thick you want them mine were 10 centimeters then divided by half and then another two um, centimeters in total for um, the seam allowance it turned out to be four in total when they were pressed so um, then once you have them done you can iron them uh, but before that you can finish the row edges and then you attach them to your tube top i tried to record this but mm, it did not work out well uh, my memory was full 
Uh, but anyways, you know how to attach. I mean, it's it's fairly easy. Just attach them on two sides in order to make them sturdy and so they don't roll out on you and poke out through your tube top. And once you've done that, all is done and dusted. You are ready to wear your clothes. And this is what it looks done. It looks like strawberry summer set and I am in love. I just wish I'd gathered, I added some gathers at the bottom of the skirt, but even like this, it looks very cute and it's very comfortable. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye, XOXO.